Mumbo, my friend, thanks for Hello. coming over. <laughs> That's all right, mate. Thanks. I kind of went weirdly Australian then. Yeah. I think I was looking at like the pair of our shirts and like our, both of our setups. I'm I'm feeling a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess Australian here. I mean, too bad it's like winter in England, but sure, we'll we'll yes. be Australian. Well, my friend, if there's anything I know about Hermitcraft, this is not going to go as planned. So, you know what? <laughs> um, let's just go. I've got my armor on, and I'm going to go up the chief. Get ready. Wow, I'm excited to see this bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you're ready to go, pull the lever, my dude, in the middle of the so, platform. So, I actually activate your... Yep. your <laughs> yep. Here we go. Okay. TNT's <laughs> ready. It's if hopefully not... No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's... Wait a minute. That that did not go to plan. <laughs> Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the Interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Nauga coming at you in another Minecraft episode from the Hermitcraft server. We're kicking things off today, my friends, from a freshly lit beacon mine close to the valley of Tatu Ren, where we are going to spend the start of this week trying to get a whole bunch of diamonds to help fund the construction of our mega storage system project in the Emperor's Fortress that we started in the previous episode. Here's the thing, my friends. Even though last episode we got our log business back up and running, unfortunately I have to announce to all my Bigger Logs Incorporated employees that the profits have not been coming in quite as fast as I would have hoped. So I thought we'd take things into our own hands today and do a bit of good old fashioned diamond mining at level 11 to get the ball rolling a bit faster on the bling blank side of things. My dudes, I hope you're sitting comfortable right now because we've got a jam packed episode ahead of us, let me tell you. Not only are we going to spend a good few hours searching for diamonds, but we've also got a super exciting mini project to finish today for the end game of the turf wars between HEP and the Resistance. You see, Dr. Reinstein and I have been tasked by the Resistance to design and build a mini game for the turf wars mini game area. And after a few days on my creative world, I think I've come up with an amazing amazing mini game concept I'm going to call Floatage, which as you saw during my testing of the game with Mumbo at the start of the episode is going to be an absolute blast to play. Eddie Huzel will be working on our Floatage mini game a bit later on my dudes, but first we've got diamonds to find down here in this beacon mine I set up last night, so let's get this chunk mined up and find some freaking blue rocks shall we? It's mini time lapse time baby! <laughs> About two and a half hours later and we've got a pretty decent amount of resources here guys. This bacon mine has been one of the best bacon mines that I think I've ever dug in my life in this beautiful game. I mean, look how many diamond deposits there are. They're all over the place, man. I don't think I've ever seen this many diamonds in one bacon uh, chunk thing in my entire freaking life. Uh, slime, I'm trying to make a video, my dude. Jeez, how rude. Anywho, I've left most most of the diamond ores intact here inside of our bacon mine and I am extremely curious to see exactly how many bling blangs we're going to get out of this thing using our fortune 3 pickaxe. I mean it looks to me like this is going to be an incredibly good day for Bigger Logs Incorporated my dudes. We may not be making loads of profits from logs but we're about to make a ridiculous amount of profit from bacon. <laughs> Ren diggity 
Sabadee dog. Well, Sabadee dogs, I gotta say, this has been one of the most lucrative bacon mines we've ever set up on the Hermitcraft server. My goodness, I don't know what is happening today, but we've got Lady Luck on our shoulder, apparently. Managed to rip out a total of four stacks of diamonds and a smidge. And of all of the bacon mines we've set up in Hermitcraft, and there have been very many of these created over the years. Yeah, this has been a really, really good one. A ton of diamonds, a ton of resources, a very easy one too. No lava in the walls, no real issues. It's been an absolute joy, an absolute awesome and glorious grind. And with all of these beautiful resources, I think we're about ready to start working on our storage system in the Emperor's Fortress. But first, we've got another very important bit of business to attend to. An explosive mini-game for the Mycelium Resistance. And oh baby, do I have an amazing plan for a mini-game. Come check this out, my dudes. It's been about a week or so since we decided to end the turf war with HEP via a massive mini-game competition on the Hermitcraft server, guys. And I gotta tell ya, I've been racking my brains trying to figure out a sweet mini-game that we can include in that battle. As you can see, I've got Dr. Reinstein involved, guys. We need the creative juices to be flowing. We need to come up with some sweet mini-game ideas. And I think I have stumbled across a really amazing idea with Dr. Reinstein for a game that is called Floatage. Now, before I tell you about Floatage, I need to tell you about the origins of this minigame, okay? Let's head over to this really crazy looking redstone machine over here. Now, you guys might remember a few weeks ago, we were in full battle with HEP, and there came a point in time where we were trying to infiltrate the entire shopping district with Grian's sheepish agents. Remember that? Well, during that time, I actually asked a good friend of mine, Ray's Works, to come up with a machine for us that might be able to basically completely cover the commercial district with sheep. Now listen, before we talk about floatage, my dudes, I need to give you a proper demonstration of how Ray's Works Sheep Cannon 3000 actually functions. Because this is one of the most insane TNT redstone machines I have seen in a very, very long time. And I want to say a big thank you to Ray's Works for getting this thing made for me. And my dudes, if you want to see more from Ray's Works, make sure you go check out his YouTube channel at the end of this episode. Link in the description box below. Yo, Ray, thanks again, my friend. Okay, so this is how this crazy contraption functions over here, guys. I asked Ray to design me a machine that would be able to blast sheep all over the commercial district. Now, in order to do that, Ray had to make use of a whole bunch of splash potions and some very clever TNT functionality. As you can see, we've got two TNT launchers over here and a bunch of sheep inside of the chamber. Have a look at what happens when we fire this bad boy up, guys. This is one of the most insane things I've ever seen. The TNT goes off. There go the sheep. They go straight up, right? Now we needed to get them over the commercial district. There comes the next bit of TNT. Boom! <laughs> The sheep get blasted all the way to the side and then because of entity cramming in the sky they split up and the slow falling potion slowly brings them down to earth. Man how insane was that? Oh my goodness fellow members of the mycelium resistance I'm sure you will agree if we had had enough time to make the sheep cannon during the height of the turf wars we would have been able to flood the shopping district with Grian's agents. It would have been amazing. Unfortunately everything went so quick that I didn't get a chance to actually make Ray's cannon. But if you want to make this thing in your own worlds, I'm sure Ray might have a tutorial available or something like that. But look at that. Isn't that absolutely amazing, man? Jeez. Ray, what an incredible redstone contraption you have devised here. And uh, well, this machine was the inspiration for me to make the mini game called Floatage. Because even though we're not going to be using the actual sheep TNT mechanics of this machine, my dudes, I am going to be using the launching mechanics for my mini game. Dr. Reinstein and I haven't quite figured out exactly how this mini game is going to function yet. It's a work in progress, but so far the concept is shoot hermits all the way up into the sky so at least we've got step one down i suppose step two is to find a place in the mini games district to build this thing and then we need to test it out with a fellow hermit to see if we can actually make it work so yeah lots of work for me and dr reinstein to do my friends let's head back to the server to find a place to build this monstrosity <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, Sabadegadid Augs. The Turf Wars minigame area is absolutely on fire today. Jeez, man. I was working on my own minigame yesterday, logged on this morning, and look at all of this madness. There are minigames left, right, and center. I don't even know what's going on here, man. We've got a giant cake maze over there. We've got massive holes in the ground. We've got some beautiful terraformification happening by Santa Corrales. Man, this is going to be the most awesome resolution to the conflict between the Resistance and HEP ever, my dudes. I can't wait, man. Anyway, take a look. This is the mini game I've been working on here, guys. It's called Floatage. And I've got most of the redstone in at the moment. I'm still missing quite a few resources to finish it off, though. Uh, but I wanted to quickly explain to you guys what my mini game is going to do. It's a little bit weird, okay? Uh, it involves a lot of TNT. And there is going to be a lot of death involved too. It's going to be super fun. This is the basic concept of the game, all right? It's HEP versus resistance, and each of us is going to play floatage three times on different teams. Uh, team A is going to go into this pipe and is going to sit inside of what I can only describe as a massive TNT cannon. The team is going to be blasted into the sky, and uh, while well, they're going to float down to the surface with, uh, well, the help of some splash potions of, of slow falling and while they're floating down to the surface the rest of us uh, or the other team should I say so in this case the mycelium resistance we're going to be chilling on top of this platform and we're going to be using crossbows to try and shoot the hep members out of the sky before they land on some platforms that are going to be giving them points now obviously there's still a lot of work for me to do on this mini game, and I don't think I explained that very well. So I tell you what, I'm going to jump onto a test world with a guinea pig. I'm going to show you guys exactly how floatage works. Oh man, <laughs> it's so awesome. Take a look at this. Grian, welcome to the first ever testage of floatage. I'm... Am I going to die? Yes. You're going to die horribly. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, so I've been trying to show my peeps how my game works. I thought it'd be much easier just to have a quick run through. And you're the All guinea right. pig, okay? Tell um, me what to do. Okay, so, well, the idea of the game is that it's going to be HEP versus resistance, obviously. Step mm -hmm. one, one of the teams is going to go into the TNT cannon of, um, well, death. Um, so you're going to be HEP for this particular test, okay? You're going to need to stick on some blast protection gear because okay. there's going to be a lot of TNT exploding going on. Uh, get yourself in there, if you can. <laughs> oh no, is there is there a block in the way? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Good. Right, you're in the cannon. Okay, perfect. Let's see if it works. I've got all the redstone in. I've done some testing. I've flicked the switch. Uh, and hopefully uh, everything goes well. And uh, boom! Okay, there you go. Nice, nice. Okay, so now so I, I can... I just got to land on one of these. Yep, you're going to try land on one of these. And I'm going to try blast you out of the sky. Okay, it's oh, gonna... this is terrifying. It's yep. like a blitz. Ah, yeah. ah, that was really close. No, no, you're getting really good. No. Uh. Oh, you missed. You what missed. Nice. Hey, that actually worked. All the redstone worked and didn't blow up. That's excellent. Um, but I didn't get the point. No, you didn't get the point. Yo, uh, let's do a swap. You come and try kill me because that actually looked really fun. You floating okay. down like that. That looked, that looked really sweet. So let me get some gear on and we'll have a second run, okay? Round two, round two, I won the last one. So one zero, G, one zero. Okay, here we go. I feel go. like I lost the last one rather than you winning yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. All right, so in this test, the, the resistance are in the cannon. Hep are shooting us <laughs> down. <laughs> and we're on our way to land on the platform. There's flak all over the place. Oh, geez. Wait, I think I might get this one. No, no. no. Oh, oh, we are oh. very, very bad at this. Um... You also didn't die. Yeah, I also didn't. Me. I didn't die. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, maybe we need to test a couple more rounds here, dude. Yeah, I think we need a bit more play testing, but the concept is spot on. Absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to shoot those smelly hips out of the sky, my dude. It's gonna be sweet. It's a few days later in real life, cyber digging the dogs, and I've got some good news and some bad news. Now, the good news is. Floatage works. We managed to do a successful test with Grian on our creative world. It went swimmingly. Grian was blasted into the sky. We were able to shoot our crossbow at him. And I think this game is going to be super fun, my dudes. Oh, man, I can't wait to get it going. However, the bad news is 
I still have a ridiculous amount of work to do to get this thing done. And the work that we need to do mostly revolves around getting the resources required for the TNT cannon itself. We need a ridiculous amount of slow falling and poison splash potions, as well as a bunch of TNT. And of course, I do need to finish off the build itself so that it doesn't look so super janky out here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna spend the next few days, I guess, trying to gather all of these resources and... Well, the Turf Wars minigame area is certainly starting to come together, isn't it? This place is looking absolutely crazy. All of the hermits making some crazy looking minigames, man. Look at these giant holes. What the heck is going on here? We've got to make sure our minigame is ready for that final battle, guys. So I'm going to carry on here on the grind. Get this thing finished as soon as possible. And I guess probably the first place to start is going to be trying to get a hold of all of those potions uh, that we're going to need. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of weird potions to get. I don't have a potion set up at all. But I know a hermit on the server who is doing some things with potions, and we might be able to get a little bit of help from them. Yo, Azuma, where you at, brother? Azuma, you're... Oh, I'm so happy to see your B-face, dude. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> awesome, dude. I, I got a question, man. Well, what's up with the shades? They're, like, blue? Yeah, uh, they went blue with the button. Remember the button game? Oh, yeah, you still got the, the wristband on your arm. Yeah. I'm going to keep oh, them on so for the cool. whole season. Just, you know, memories. Memories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I logged in a moment ago and you were like, oh, I need some phantom membrane. Yeah, and B double O's online, so, or he was, so that's no chance of phantom membranes for me. This is going to be a mega build around a mega build, right? Because, like, when you put hundreds of hours into a redstone project, you've automatically got to put hundreds of hours into a building project. Yeah, that's just how it goes. You know? <laughs> yep. That's exact. That's the hermit craft way. <laughs> Dude, this so, is looking insane though. Like, what is this? Is like some sort of mo monstrous cathedral of potioning or something? Yep. <laughs> I, I I don't even know what it is. I'm just like taking inspiration from all sorts of different places and throwing it all together. Sweet. It's coming together. If you open up one of these chests, you oh will find my hideous amounts of potions. Word. Oh my yeah. word. Oh my sainted auntie. I was expecting there to just be potions in the chest, but there's shulker boxes of potions dude this is nuts this redstone is actually physically hurting me just looking at it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i won't even begin to explain it because it's crazy this is your chest right here oh amazing dude that's in that's fantastic i mean i don't actually I, I need like two shulker boxes and then i'll convert them to slow falling twos yeah well well Oh, wait a minute. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. There's redstone for that. Dude, this project is going to change the season. This is ridiculous. I know, right? That's what I want. I want I want permits to come over here and be like, I need a stupid amount of potions, and then they're just sitting there ready to be used. Yeah. And you know what? As a Minecrafter, I've always wanted to make potions a part of my daily game. You're going to yeah. make that happen for me, dude. This is a, This is insane. Oh my goodness, well, look at this. Well, everything here is free. That's what you got to remember, okay? Ooh. Just return the shulker boxes and take what you want. <laughs> Dude, this uh. is insane. Okay, wait, a, let, let me see if I can get my redstone brain working here. This is the slow for, slow potion falling to transmit, transformer for Kada. Yeah, yeah. Any okay. potion that can be used with redstone, you chuck the shulker boxes in the chest at the top. Oh, you put the okay? shulker boxes in? You don't have to in? worry about... Yep, that's right. It does shulker boxes at a time. You don't have to worry about, you know putting in too many or anything like that this thing works with whatever you put into it oh my goodness dude i'm getting minecraft shivers right now this is this is epic <laughs> how does this even work this is just some magic i don't i don't understand it's just magic it's just happening it it kind of is if you come down here though you can see the machine in action right Ooh, so okay all of your potions are in different brewing stands now mm -hmm. and Ooh. they're about to get taken out yeah it just did your first batch there so there's another choker box here but it's done your uh your batch of slow potions wow slow that was potions. super quick yep oh it's fast goodness. as well yeah that's yeah that's minutes. amazing uh, dude, I was literally going to spend the rest of the next few days like trying to kill phantoms and do this all manually. This is just the best. You have literally made my week better, X. Thank you, dude. This is so awesome. One thing is for sure, Cyberdogs, there is no way I could have finished Floatage in time for the Turf Wars endgame this week without my fellow hermits. So a huge thanks to everybody for all the help this week.
We've now managed to stock up the Hermit Cannon with slow falling and poison potions thanks to Azuma's Potion Factory. We've loaded this bad boy to the brim with TNT and stocked the platform with Flak Cannon Firework Rockets thanks to Sand from the Barge and Gunpowder from Tango's Rocket Shop. And of course, we've had a ton of help from various Hermits to test this crazy minigame and balance the position of the landing platforms despite it being extremely dangerous and, well, pretty much deadly. And so with all that said, I'm very pleased to announce that Floatage is now 99% complete and ready for an epic HEP vs Resistance showdown later on this week. I've still got a few adjustments to make here and there though, but all in all, I'm so pleased with how the game has turned out and I hope you guys are as excited as I am to see Hermits being blasted into the sky and then shot out of the sky in a glorious rain of firework flak cannon explosions. Anyway, I've not yet had a chance to test the game out on the Hermitcraft server yet, so earlier on I spotted Mumbo Jumbo working on another game and I asked him if he could help me test the final version of Float to, well, mixed results. Check it out. Mumbo, my friend, thanks for Hello. coming over. <laughs> That's all right, mate. Thanks. I kind of went weirdly Australian then. Yeah. I think I was looking at like the pair of our shirts and like our, both of our setups. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well. I guess Australian here. I mean, too bad it's like winter in England, but sure, we'll, we'll yes. be Australian. Yeah, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. <laughs> Listen, my dude, uh, I need some help testing the game, my game floatage. I I think everything's working. I have no idea, though. I've just explained to you how it works. You're going to try blast me yep. out the sky, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, well, it okay, definitely so worked. That works. That. <laughs> okay, cool. Does it do a lot of damage? But I feel like I should have been slightly wary about that, actually. <laughs> um, it won't do damage until I'm floating down because I'm going to get poisoned by a splash okay. potion. So you should be able to kill me with one shot on the way down, okay? All right. Um, okay. So I'm going to go into the chamber first because I don't want to kill you right off the back. Because um, like, if I do kill you, yeah. then are you going to respawn in the right place? Like, I just want to make sure that. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll sleep. We'll sleep. Well, my friend, if there's anything I know about Hermitcraft, this is not going to go as planned. So, you know what? <laughs> um, let's just go. I've got my armor on and I'm going to go up the chief. <laughs> Get ready. Uh, I'm excited to see this bit work. <laughs> okay, uh, when you're ready to go, pull the lever, my dude, in the middle of the so, platform. So I actually activate your... Yep, your <laughs> yep. here we go. Okay, TNT's <laughs> ready. It's, it's hopefully not... No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so that... Wait a minute. That, that did not go to plan. <laughs> Um, right. So it's a good thing you slept, eh? <laughs> Very good. Um, Mumbo, I may have made a boo-boo here. I needed to turn on my beacons. So if you'll just give me one moment, we'll try that again, That's shall fine. we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're ready okay, to go. Okay. All right, Mumbo, we're okay. ready. We Round two. Good? Round two. Are we feeling good? Yeah, we're oh, feeling good. I can't even get to the platform. Now, it's super important that this that, that, that I'm on as low life as possible, right? That's why we've got the beacon thing going and whatnot, so... I should okay. come out of the floatage tube with like two hearts, one and a half hearts. So let's do it again. Mumbo, pull! Which I think I, okay. I think that's what they say when you do shooting practice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here right, we go. Okay. Come on, baby! Yes! Oh, there it is! It's working! Okay, you gotta get me. You gotta get me. I'm trying to head okay. down to a platform for some pointages. Oh my goodness, you're, I don't you're hear traveling anything. way faster than I oh, expected. Yes. Oh yes! Oh no! I just <laughs> missed it! Dang it! Dang it! Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, this man. is actually... This is difficult. I was expecting yeah. this to be a little bit easier. Do you want to do it one more time? Yeah, like, do you want to try again? You want to try hit me? Yeah. Here we go! <laughs> Boom! Oh jeez, B-00's right, going right. down too. Oh! Oh, I hear the rockets incoming. Oh, yeah, there they oh, come. That was so close. There they come. That was so close. Dude, you I better get me. You better get me. Boom. Yes. Point. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Oh, okay. I, I, oh, man. There is a tactic to this because I didn't load up my crossbow in time. Like I, oh. I loaded it up, shot the first shot. And I kind of forgot that I could shoot another shot. Yeah, my dude, you got to reload. You got to keep going. You got to keep firing. This is this is this is tough. I, am okay. I allowed to do some floatage? Am yes. I allowed to do the, the floatage? Yeah, side you're doing the things? floatage now. Bon voyage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm, I'm absolutely as ready as I'm ever going to be. All right. Which Good I'm luck, not Bobo. sure that's that ready. Pull. 
Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay, you gotta you gotta spot one of those platforms to come down to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very important. There I, you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, jeez. Oh, that, that was, was real super close. close. I felt oh, like go fast. No. No. Oh, jeez. Okay, <laughs> dude. That was. That was wow. That was that, that was, was terrible. That was, that was terrible. <laughs> can I have one more go? Can you? Can of course you, hit me you with can. This? Yeah. Oh, whoops. This is. Uh, hold on. Oh man, you need to really work on your aim, dude. You can't even get me when I'm on the floor. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. Good luck. Right. Oh, you forgot to put I your helmet, helmet on. <laughs> and I still didn't sleep. I think that might round up our testing, to be honest with you. Okay. Cool. So fourth time lucky. The final test. The yeah, final the test. Board. Yep, the final test. Okay, here we go. Here okay. we go. I have one in mind, so I, I think I, I think I can work my way over there. All right, you ready, my friend? Absolutely. Here we go. Pull. Boop. <laughs> right, holding thumbs. It all goes proper this time. Come on, baby. <laughs> Get go. up there. Here we nice. go. Nice. Boop. Here oh my go. goodness, that was close. That was so close to you, dude. No, 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 no. I'm on my way. No, 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 no. Oh, no I'm dropping. No, Every single no. time I take <laughs> damage, I literally thought I couldn't make it. <laughs> Every single time I took damage, I like dropped a little bit further oh. and I couldn't quite do it. I just didn't, I didn't, I went the wrong way as I oh. came out the tube. Okay, that's and interesting. You know what? I might need to what? move the landing platforms just a little bit closer in that case, I think. It feels like they're pretty far. Potentially. Yeah. Because I had to, like, you have to know where one is. As soon as you come out the end of the tube, yeah. mm -hmm. otherwise mm -hmm. you've got you've got zero chance. You don't have any but time to like look dude. around, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But other than that, dude, oh, this man. game is literally the funniest thing. It works, <laughs> dude. This is amazing. Now imagine five hermits in the sky, flat cannons going <laughs> off. It's oh, it's gonna it's gonna look so insane. It's gonna be a joy, my friend. Bye, bye. Thanks so much right. for helping me, man. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. That's all right, dude. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers. man.